Hello, friends. Welcome to my YouTube and Facebook Live today. I'm Karina Chin with Karina Stamps, and I come on every Tuesday at 1 Mountain Standard Time to share some stamping with you. And I'm so excited today to share because I have a super fun card for you. It is called the Tent Fold Card. Kind of fun. I think it's got lots of applications, which I'll probably... I'll show you one on how to make one and then throughout the week I'll have to post more samples. Once I started making one, I, I've got so many fun ideas it's going to be hard to stop. And I want to quickly mention a few things that are going on in the Stampin' Up! world because we have our Stampin' Up! retiring sale that started today. In fact, I was up at midnight and got some smoking deals. So I like to just mention that there's some things where items were up for up to 60% off. So that is huge. Now, if you live in Canada and you don't have Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, I'm more than happy to help you with your order. Um, anything over the way it works is that anything over $65, you get a 40 uh, page PDF tutorial that you can use. And then I've been sending out a package of uh, sampler papers as well. So if you're placing a larger order, then you get two sampler papers packages. If you do a really large order, you get three. So it kind of goes up from there. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Natalie. Thank you for joining me today. I think you're going to like the card today. I might have to do this one in a couple of my classes because I think it's so fun. Hello, Helen. Thank you for watching me on YouTube. That way I know that it's working. Hooray, hooray. Now, before I start, I just want to share with you guys some of the some of the deals that I thought were really good. See, these. this is my list. Now, first off, I don't know if there's anything left, but at the back, I ordered blends today. So I ordered myself two packages for my upcoming Apple class. This is the one of the cards we'll make at the Apple class. This is going to be on May 18th. Yes, it's the long weekend. You can get a kit to go if you want. But the stamp set was really good deal. And then I bought some picture frames and then we're going to make three cards, a picture frame project and a treat holder all for $40. So that's pretty good. It includes the stamp set. So I thought that was really good. And see how I use the blends. So Parakeet Party blends were on sale for $8.25. Same with Sweet Sorbet, Tahitian Tide. What are the other two colors am I missing in the retiring and colors that are retiring? Can't think of them right now. Mine are packed already for my sale. Because once a year I have a huge buy one, get one free sale. It's going to be April 19th and 20th this year. So that you can either order from the old catalog or the new catalog on May the 1st. It's your choice. And how it works is if you buy a $25 stamp set, you get 20, you pay $25 for that stamp set. And then you place you up an order from the new catalog and you get your product for free. You just pay the shipping and GST on the catalog product. So it's a smoking deal. And this is a customer appreciation event for my customers. I only do it one year. And I have a friend who's sorting through all my cards. I have hundreds of cards and I'm going to be selling them for um, a dollar a card. So that's a smoking deal as well. So if you're not a paper crafter, but you like handmade cards, come see me on the 20th. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Okay. Are you guys ready to see some of my, some of my great tips? Okay. First of all, look how cute this stamp set is. There is a really cute stamp set called, Oh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, not Silly Goose, although I do love Silly Goose. Oh, super cool. It's on sale for $14. Okay, page 28. I'm not going to go through the whole catalog, so I just want to stamp with you guys. I've made so many fun cards with this one. And um, I also bought like the pretzel coordinates with the pretzel paper. This is like the paper's 50% off right now as well. Like how cute is that? That card just is great for any ages. Also, the Taco Fiesta stamp set's um, going to be gone soon, too. And that's where I got the mustache for, uh, from, the mustache from. And then the hot dog is from a hostess set that's called Carnival Treats right now that you can pick up with a $200 order. Or talk to me, and I'm, I think I've got one left that's going in my sale. Um, or if you're ordering, you know, if you want it, I do lots of orders. I can probably get it for you if it's available. No guarantees. Another one, oh, this one's amazing too. Like, this is a really good one. So refreshing. 
hold on share a milkshake look at the cute summer cards you can get with this stamp set and it's only 13 dollars right now like that is huge i can't believe some of the deals on this right and then this one was gonna go in my sale i decided to keep it because i really like i like happy birthday thank you i like the fonts in here but it's only 14 dollars 50 right now um, another one that's really cool is this die is called Patchwork Pieces. We're going to be using this die on one of the cards tomorrow at Bogani Cafe. When you stamp with me at Bogani Cafe, I'll see if I can find the card. And um, I think it's so fun. And I think it's 40% off right now if there's any left. Look how beautiful that card is. It's a great way to use up your designer series paper. This paper pack is actually the Simply Zinnia paper that's in the online exclusive. Same with the stamp set. But I love it. I just love it. And then we're making this at my Monday night card class. So if you live out of town and you go, well, I'm not driving to Edmonton to go to Bogani Cafe card class. It's okay. I run it as a virtual class and I mail you your kits in the mail. And then we just go on Zoom and stamp together. And it's open to anybody can join. Anybody can join. Okay, another one that I'll mention quickly is Lighting the Way. Is that in here? Oh, maybe not. It's not on my list. I know it's retiring, though, but look at I actually have a PDF tutorial for this. This is one of my virtual card classes that I used to call Stamp Set of the Month, and I do PDF tutorials for three cards plus a technique card, but isn't that fun and beautiful? The other one that's a great deal, Easter Bunny. You can buy your Easter Bunny set for next year. Phrases for all, no, Lasting Joy. I pulled this one. I need to keep it. So you can buy your own right now. Because the sale just started, I don't know if anybody knows about these smoking deals. Lasting Joy. Now, the reason I kept it is right here. Can you guys see that? I missed your birthday. I am always late on my birthday card. So that's why I'm keeping it. It's got birthday wishes. Missed your birthday. Thinking of you. You're in um, in my heart. It's just a really nice set. And I can't believe it's $14. In fact, yeah, mine's in good shape. Sometimes if mine's, are, mine's yucky, I'll buy a second set for myself. So $14. Country Bouquet is only $12.80. And that was a Valentine's one. Um... Or you can do some beautiful wedding cards with it as well. Did I put the page number on here? I'm like, what is 12? Like, that's practically free. $12.80. It had a coordinating punch, too. I actually demoed this at on and on stage for Stampin' Up! in Vancouver. Love this set. Like, can't you just see how that would make beautiful wedding cards? And I love that we are friends. Like, that is so nice. You need a wedding sentiment, but you know what I mean, right? And then the other one, Silly Goose. Oh, my goodness. Page 51. It's on sale for $17. Uh, 51. I bought this because it says Goosebumps. And sending a honkin' big thanks. Like, oh, this is so funny. Anyway, that makes me happy. This one here, Happy Labels. Look at that, 15% off, $16.50 only. I just want to hug you. I'm so happy you were born. You've got the biggest heart. Like these, oh, I just need this in my collection. And there's the Easter Bunny one I said was 50% off. And it has an Easter Bunny punch too. So this is great. You can start working on your cards for next year. Okay, and I think Cheerful Daisies, I think the paper's on sale. Right, we made this little fast mini album at uh, my all day retreat last June. My other all my new all day retreats coming up June twenty second. I don't have a lot of spots left because most people RSVP and reserve and put a deposit down for the next one. But if you're interested, let me know. I also do kits to go and it includes all the PDF instructions, so I can send this anywhere in Canada. Ah, okay, I think I'm ready to go. I shared this one, I shared that one. These are just the ones that I can find that I haven't given to my friends to sort. There's many more deals. Um, I did buy myself a bunch of embellishments. What did I buy myself? Let's take a look. I got some of those uh, iridescent pastel gems, I think. I thought that was a really good deal because they go with everything. I love investing in embellishments that go with everything. So I bought these ones right here. Number 11, iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. They were 40% off, so they were 
and 15 cents. It's kind of hard to see in here. But look at all the yellow. Anything that's yellow is on sale. So lots of selection for you. So don't wait. Get your stuff. Oh, I got a couple of these too, these pastel uh, sequins because it goes with everything. It's 40% off. And I love the fact that it's flat and I can mail it without my postal lady going, doesn't fit through the slot. It's another dollar. Okay, she doesn't say it like that. You know, she's the sweetest, but I'm always like, really? Another dollar? I'm cheap. When you're mailing as many cards as I do, you like to uh, not spend $2 a card. So I always try to keep things as flat as possible. Okay, if there's no questions, guys, I'm just going to show you how to make this super cool card because I'm so excited about it. So, hi, Karen, you found me. And let's see. Yeah, Kathy, I love the milkshake. Hello, Joy. How are you? Yeah. Uh, Joy, yes, we're stamping at Bogani Cafe tomorrow at 930. And I do have a kit for you to come on down. And um, the only requirement they have is that we order a drink and a muffin. And it costs five bucks. So it's pretty hard to go anywhere else in the city and get a coffee and a muffin for five dollars. Because what is it at Starbucks? Seven? And you just get your drink. So I think it's a great deal. And they're so nice. I love supporting local businesses but i especially like supporting local businesses that appreciate us and the people are super nice so that's how it works for me if you are super nice and you have a business i'm more than happy to support you and the people the staff and the owners at bogani cafe are so kind and so nice that i love going there and i get to stamp with my friends and have a drink and a coffee for five bucks Okay, I always get a latte, which is more, because they have a special latte, but so yummy. Okay, are you guys ready to start stamping? I should mention, too, that um, in April, yeah, for April, we're working on, um, an, ooh, what's this card class called? Sweet ice cream or something? I started playing with the cards. This is going to be one of the designs that we'll make. I don't like the colors. I'm changing it. I'm changing it to be pink. Anyway, I just kind of played with this last night. How fun is that design, right? So this is one of the cards. The second one I have done, there's three cards and then we do a technique, a technique sheet to go in our, in our folder. So if anybody wants a kit for that, let me know. You do have to own the stamp set and it's a, it, the class is free with a $35 order for that. Okay, ready to make the best card ever? Okay, maybe not ever, but it's, it's really fun, don't you think? And don't you love how it pops up and stands up? So this is called a tent fold card. And if you're wondering where that little guy is, to the um, sneak peek of a brand new set that's coming out called Hearts and Hugs. And you know, first when I thought, thought saw this, I went, yeah, it's cute. But you know what? They get you with the dies. They get you. Stampin' Up! does an amazing job coordinating dies with their stamp sets. And I find oftentimes I have to have the dies. And then if I buy the dies, I have to have the stamp set because that's how, that's just how I roll. But look at this guy. Seriously. And then all these little hearts and pieces. So I put the little, I put the little kind of grass with the stamps here. A couple little flowers. Stamp the little happy mouse. And the sentiment says, I want to remind you that you are fabulous, which comes from the online exclusive in my heart stamp set. Thumbs up for this one. Look at that. There's no one quite like you. I want to remind you that you are fabulous. A little note to say I was thinking of you and sending love your way. And look at the little girl with the dog. I would just use this image 50 times. Not that I don't like these huggy huggy images. But I don't do a lot of those because my friends appreciate my cards. And as much as I love my husband, he likes cards, but he just, it doesn't excite him. Cards do not excite him. So I do one card a year. And then my friends get all my millions of cards that I make. Okay, so are we ready to go? I think so. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you need to get a card base to make this style up card so i've got one already prepped but i want to show you how to cut it from scratch 
So I'm going to start this one. I don't know. We'll see how much time I have if I'll finish it or not. But I'm focusing on this one because I think you all need to get yourself a package of this paper before it's gone. It could already be gone. I don't know because the stamp set and the dies are rolling over into the catalog, the new catalog. But the designer series paper is not. So if you take a look at this, um, the wagon is from Filled with Fun, which is an online exclusive. But I didn't even stamp. I just cut the little people out of the designer series paper and it's only $17. And I thought it would be really fun, a really fun card. So this is going to be the stamp set of the month in May that we're using to give you a sneak peek in my virtual card class. Well, actually, it's a technique card class. But if you're placing an order or you need to, just let me know. That's the hostess code that links all the orders together. And I did buy one package. I'm trying to feel like I should have got more. I don't know. Okay, so to make this fabulous tent fold card, you need a piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter inches by 11. And then the very first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to score it in half at five and a half inches. Okay, like that. Now you're probably wondering how we get these nice little triangles. Super easy. You just need to get a pencil. Ooh, what a, oh, I got a Spider-Man pencil. Okay, when you have this amazing paper trimmer, you can use any pencil you want. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is make a tick mark in the center of this cardstock. Now, this is four and a quarter inches. So half of that is two and one eighth. So I've got two, and then this is two and a quarter. So you want the line in the middle. So it's not the small tick, but kind of the next longer one. Okay, so let's put that down. Hold on, I just need to make sure it's lined up. Put a little tick mark. And then you can put tick marks at one and a half inches from the end. Or you can use your trimmer, your scoring blade on your trimmer. And we're going to score it at four inches. Or not score it, sorry. Tick at four inches and seven inches. Okay, and all that is, it's just a one and a half inches from the score line on both sides. But it was just way easier to do that. And then what we're going to do is put it in our trimmer track so I can see my nice pencil marks on here. And I love that the track is really wide, so it makes it really easy to make all these fun, fancy fold cards. Don't you love my Spider Man pencil? Now you got to have some fun pencils. I kind of wish I could have some fun animal pencils. Like I think I need a little mouse or something to go with my little mouse card. Okay, so that is what it looks like, and that's basically almost it. Let's just put this to the side. I'll show you the next step in a second. So what we want to do, we folded this in half. We're just going to go over the score lines like so. And then when you do that, you can see it automatically folds in. Now, this point eh, could be a little better. You can take a little more time with it if you want. I have lots of cardstock, so I don't really get hung up on this. Stamping is fun. My cards are never perfect, but they're made with love because I only make cards for my friends. And I only stamp with friends. Okay, that's it. Done. Ta-da! Who's wowed? Anybody wowed yet? Okay, let's go on to the next step. So you can see from this design, we need a piece of designer series paper for the front, the inside, and white for the back. Now, if you have Stampin' Up! paper trimmer, you can cut through three layers of cardstock at one time. If you don't, I'm just going to say I'm just sad for you because I truly think this is the best. It saves me tons of time. Watch how slick this is. You're going to line this up at two inches. You're putting a tick mark here. Now, oh, this is a little trickier because my paper, my designer series paper is a little bit darker. And then I'm going to turn it so that the long side is at the top. We're going to make a tick mark at one and a half inches. So one and a half on the top, 
one and a half on the bottom and then you can see the tick marks easily we're just going to put it in our trimmer track and we're cutting it away and it won't be perfect but it'll be pretty darn close okay so we're going to do this one get rid of that and then we're going to do the other side and i'm cutting through three layers so that saves me a ton of time I feel like we should make one of these type of cards at Bogani Cafe next month. What do you guys think? Would you like that? Or my Monday night card class? I think so. I don't know which stamp set we'll use yet, but I think that might be a good idea. Okay, now somehow we have to get a hole on here. Um, I'm going to put this down. I'm almost out of adhesive. Can you believe that? So sad. Okay, let's just go. We're just going to put this down quickly. I'm going to see if my adhesive will last. I guess I could use liquid adhesive if I want. I don't know. I don't get too fussy with my stuff. Stamping is fun, and it's a creative process. And if you make a mistake, it's all fixable. Okay, so I've got that done. Let's get out my stylish shape dies. And I think I want... Do I want the bigger hole? Maybe I do. I think I'm going to use a bigger one right now. Now, I use this one on here, but can you see I made an itty-bitty mistake? I put it up to the top, and then you can see the triangle is poking through. So be careful where you're placing this. I'm going to put this one a little bit lower down to the ground, I think. Yeah, we'll do it a little bit lower down to the ground. I'm going to use washi tape to hold this down. I haven't been. But because I'm going to be putting my die cutting machine on my desk, doing it during a live video, I can totally see myself wiggling it and then I'll ruin my cart and have to start from scratch. And we don't want that. Now, if you're really particular, you know, you can measure it. It looks, I don't know, smidge, smidge on each side. I don't know. I think that looks good enough. Good enough for me. When I cut for classes, though, I do sit there with my ruler and do a really good job for you guys. Now, I placed my order at midnight last night. You know what I forgot to order? Plates. Look at this mess. I really do need a new plate. A new, yeah, cutting plate. So, oops. That's okay. I'll do another order. When things are so cheap, it's hard for me to make a decision. I just kind of ordered what i needed to and there's a slick thing did you guys know that you can start a list and you can add things to your list and then when the sale starts you can go add to cart and it puts everything in the list into the cart so wonderful i'm gonna have to do a video on that because i was like this is like the best ever because at midnight my brain shuts down i can't really focus too much in, at midnight too late for me Okay, here we go. So that was it. Isn't that easy? Okay, let's start putting this together. You got to watch the washi tape. And I could make a ring to decorate it a bit more. I don't think I'm going to right now. I might add it after the fact, but see the ring finishes it off nicely. And I did it far enough this time that I don't see my little triangles poking through. So this was what? Mm, about an inch from the bottom. Right? Easy peasy. Who's going to try this card? Hello, Karen. Have you made one of these? I haven't seen you in ages, Karen. On my video, that is. Uh, let's see. And Sandra, cute fancy fold. Thank you, Sandra. We're going to miss you tomorrow at our card making day. Okay, here we go. So let's put this in. Doesn't that look like a schoolhouse? Like, look how cute that is right now i don't have young kids anymore but i think anybody would like to receive this card in the mail by the time i'm done okay let's get some glue i think everybody needs about 10 of these on their desk my tip is to get a little baby cappuccino cup and <laughs> this is how i store them now you can get these fancy ones too but you know cappuccino cups work too I don't know, I got those on sale somewhere. They work really well. Okay, so we got that done. 
we have this at the back now i thought when i trimmed this didn't i have a piece of scrap i'll decorate it later but when you trim it you usually get a little scrap paper and i just like adding it on the white at the back because it looks pretty so i'll find my scraps are here unless otto gets it so otto is my little two-year-old mini schnauzer puppy and he especially likes eating Stampin' Up! paper. He loves shredding Stampin' Up! 3D items if he gets his little puppy hands on it or puppy paws. So I often find him quietly in the corner snacking on, on cardstock or something. He's pretty funny. Okay, now one thing I do will do before I finish this off. Can you see the problem here? What kind of a card is this? Now, you could just give it to somebody, but doesn't it look nicer when it sits up on a desktop? Now, I did see a bunch of these designs. Um, I was on Pinterest when I got this design. So there's many designs out there, and there's many videos out there. So go on Pinterest, take a look. This is not my original design. I looked at a couple, at a couple ideas and then thought, ah, my people haven't seen this, so you guys need to see this. So I'm taking a two, and a, a two inch by two inch um, piece of cardstock. You could also do a two inch by four inch if you want it to go across the bottom of the card. This is the same type of mechanism I used on my calendars. We always make a calendar at my catalog kickoff party at Christmas. And I'm just scoring it at um, half an inch need three score lines so half an inch one inch one and a half inches and then what did I do I think I just went like this like this okay so we have a valley a mountain and a valley and then that will allow our card to stand up and we might as well glue this down I don't know if I have enough on here oh, I do there we go Okay, let's just put this at the bottom, kind of in the middle. And it's kind of like, it'll become like an easel. Okay, there. There we go. Isn't that fun and easy? Yeah, now that I'm making this card, I'm having so much fun. We are definitely making this at Bogani Cafe next month. I just can't decide. I really like the mouse. Okay, and normally I would stamp a sentiment or something on here. I don't know where my stamps are right now. So we'll just cut out this little boy with his dog. Because as you know, I love my pets. I think I could do a better job cutting. Okay, we're just going to cut fast. I'll tack it down and then I'll fix it later. Ooh, almost cut off the puppy tail. Okay, now we're just going to go fast. Zoom, zoom. Oh, almost cut off his ear. Well, that would be bad. Okay, let's just tack them down for now. Now I need some kind of a sentiment. Um, how about sending love your way? Oh, isn't that nice? Or a little note to say I was thinking of you. Oh, I really like that one. This is just fun. And I think based on this, like look, you could put little peoples. I could have actually these two little people poking their head up in this frame. I'll probably make this prettier later on i just wanted to show you the basic design of the card and of course i found that card five minutes before i was going live so i'm like yeah okay we'll work with this for now but it just goes to show how quick you can throw a card together if you have a timeline and in fact most of my best cards get designed when i am in a rush Okay, we're just going to tack this down with a Stampin' Dimensional because I can move it after. And uh, take it apart and then make it really pretty before I take a picture on my blog. Okay, here we go. It's a little note to say I was thinking of you. We got the little boy. He's just getting one dimensional because he needs to be, I need to cut him out. I need to spend a bit more time. But how cute is that, right? Not bad for a two second card. Now I could actually put strips of paper here to make it look more like a schoolhouse, but not bad, right? Okay, that's number two. And then I'll put together this one really quick. Where did it go? Here it is. 
it's already die cut so this will go really fast so i'm using the meandering meadow designer series paper i have no idea if it's still available because it was an online exclusive I don't know maybe it is maybe it isn't that's the beauty with the online exclusives so if you're wondering where the online exclusives are if you go to my stamping store uh, go to what's new and that's where all the new stuff comes up okay let's go like this Do -do -do. and then we need to have that little piece in the middle okay I think that's pretty good a little crooked but you know still pretty good okay and I need this little piece to hold it up so let's do that and then I'll stamp my other pieces for you and then it'll be done that'll be three designs and then of course can you guess what stamp set I was going to use next what do you think my favorite stamp set is right now? any guesses guys I feel like I need to collect a bunch of them and then give them away as door prizes. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should go buy a whole bunch of $13 stamp sets and then I can use them as door prizes. Okay, let's see if I've got any guesses while I am here. Uh, favorite stamp set. Karen likes the bottom. So cute. Okay, so what did I say this was? Valley Mountain... Yeah, it looks like a W. There we go. Looks like a W. So we're making a W. Okay, I'm going to give you the answer to this, just in case people are watching the replay. My favorite stamp set right now is Latte Love, because I love chocolate and I love coffee. And I have been playing with Latte Love. I was going to make another Latte Love card, and I'm probably thinking, well, you guys must be so tired of seeing me use that stamp set. Because that's all I use. Okay, now you know what we need on here? We need a tree and we need the girl with her dog. So let's go do that. Now I don't know. Is this still available? They're getting rid of this. But this is how I store a lot of my blocks. I know block A is not available. There's a whole bunch of blocks that they got rid of. Which makes me sad. Because I really like having a block that matches... The size of my stamp. Oh, I got some scrap paper. I just find that I have less ink going along the edges and then less mistakes. Like there's less ink contamination going on my card. That's just me. I meant to go order a whole bunch more and then they were gone. Okay, so look how nice this image stamps. That's kind of the beauty of the rubber mount stamps. Okay, we're just going to put this one on. We'll color this really fast. And then I'll cut this out. And then I'll do a better job cutting it out later. Okay, so we're going to get... Oh, yeah, see? Look how cute that card turned out. This was my mystery stamping card. So we get together um, and have a crafting crew stamp night once a month if you're part of crafting crew. And crafting crew is um, our group. When you have a demo number so we always stamp on zoom because that way you can live anywhere in canada and participate in our stamp days and then a lot of times in edmonton our weather is atrocious so nobody has to drive when it's snowy and rainy and slushy and terrible out we get to stamp in our pajamas if we want although i can't say i've actually stamped in my pajamas before but i sure could Okay, and I'll just kind of add some accents really quick. I think crumb cake is one of my most used Stampin' Blends. And that's why I brought in Parakeet Party for $8.25. Like you just can't go wrong with that. Okay, I think I need some pink flowers. Or I need some yellow blue maybe a bright, bright pink. What's this? Flirty Flamingo. I see some flowers in here, so let's just do this really quick. I probably should use Berry Burst. It would match my cardstock better. 
but I really want to do this quickly for you guys. The idea is to just show you how it goes together. Okay, do we have light granny apple green? Oh no, my tip is ruined. I better get a new one. Okay, definitely placing another order now. Okay, let's just quickly color this. I see a couple more flowers popping out. Boy, there's a lot of flowers in these trees. Okay, zoom, 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 zoom. Anybody watch Pitch Perfect? That's where I hear that zoom, zoom, zoom from. Love that show. It just makes me smile. Let's give the grass some grass. Now, because I have this cute little girl, let's give her um, a pink shirt. And let's give our flowers a little bit of color as well. I think I got them all. Okay. And we got a little bit of darker. Oh, yeah, this tip is uh, needing some help, guys. Off I place another order today. And that's bad because then I'm like, ooh, this is on sale. Ooh, this is on sale. I need this. So it's kind of dangerous whenever I go back in to order. As you know, as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you get 20% off every order. And if you're at a certain level, when you buy tons of stuff like I do or run lots of classes, then you get 25% off on top of the prices, um, on top of the sale prices that we already have. So that's pretty sweet. A pretty sweet deal. Okay, now I colored her face yellow. Do you think anybody will notice? I don't think so. And I think she needs some blue print. I don't know what this color is. Let's just go like this. Oh, that's a pretty color. Look how nice that looks. Okay, done. And then I'll put this on my card. Like I said, I will just kind of cut it out and then I'll go back and finish it up nicely for you guys. So you'll have to go back and uh, see my page when it's all done. So this is my speedy version. Um, this almost looks, what is this? Ooh, a tree of life. Oh, yeah. Now, I do have to recommend these Stampin' Up! paper snips. They are amazing. You can see how you don't move, you don't move the scissors, you move the paper. Now, when I first heard that, I'm like, what if, what's that person talking about? But you know what? It works. It works so well. Yeah, so make sure you check out the ribbons. Make sure you check out the embellishments. If you live in town, come visit me on Saturday. Hit my sale. Come say hi. I do have some paper pumpkin kits as well that'll be in the sale. I haven't even looked at that stuff. So far, I've priced 93 stamp sets. And then I found another 37. I think from maybe the holiday mini last year. Anyway, I've got a whack of stamps. I even found some paper packs, brand new paper packs. Ooh, doesn't that look good, you guys? Ooh, what else do I have in there? Tons of designer series paper. Joy, yes, you're going to order tomorrow. Yeah, I think most people are because when you come to my classes, if you order, all my classes are free with an order, unless it's a stamp camp or something that already includes tons of tons of product in there. But um, I would rather my friends get some of their stamping supplies so that they can keep doing this fun activity at home. Because it is so fun and so relaxing. I don't think I do need to uh, recut my little girl. I think I did a pretty good job. Okay. There we go. Look at that. How cute is that? Now let's just put this on with Stampin' Dimensionals, just in case I change my mind. We'll put three on here. Now well, Stampin' Dimensionals are small. Let's do a little more. How about five? Five sound good? See, isn't this fun? This is just so fun. You guys should be here at my house right now stamping with me. Okay, here we go. Done. There we go. See, and then you can see through the window, we have a nice garden, well, a nice kind of scene. And I could have moved it so that you see more of the, 
beautiful designer series paper. And don't worry, if this paper is not available, it's okay because we do have a brand new paper line coming in the catalog and it looks like this, so very similar. And this is called Thoughtful Journey Designer Series Paper. And you can get your hands on that May 1st. Okay, and then where is my thing here? What are we gonna say? Just to remind you, you are fabulous. Sending love your way. Sending love your way would be nice. But you know what, that's kind of mushy. So I'm gonna say, just to remind you, you are fabulous because my friends are fabulous. Okay, let's go like this. And again, we have a whole bunch of new label shapes that I haven't even touched yet that are coming in the catalog. Let's just see what is this one. Look at this. Oh, ooh, look at this, you guys. Does that fit? Oh, no, it's a little short. Does this one fit? It does. Okay, let me roll this through really quick. And then I'll stamp that, and then my card is complete. Yay! So fun. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. It's got, like, a little border. And it does have a matching stamp, a stamp set. I really do not like to sell my sentiments because once they're gone, they're gone forever. And there's a bunch of sentiment stamps on sale as well on that list. Ooh, this is a bit risky because, see, it's not cut the best. So, eh, wish me luck. Okay. How awesome is that? That turned out pretty good, right? Okay, let's put that down here. Two dimensionals. And then I'll go find some ribbon and embellishments. Like I said, pretty much everything's packed right now. But I think I have a few. Just want to remind you that you are fabulous. Do I have any of those sequins I was talking about? What are these? Do these match? Look at these little things. I think these, I don't know if these carry over. They look pretty nice, so let's put some of these on, and they're flat. I think these were from the mini catalog. I'd have to see if they rolled over or not. But they look like little flowers, and they kind of match my kind of match my flower color that I chose. They're like an iridescent. Okay, there we go. I think I'm good with that. No, I don't like that one. Bye bye. Okay, guys, so this is what I have. Thank you for joining me today. This is the tent fold card using the online exclusive in my heart stamp set. Has anybody even seen this one yet? It's pretty fabulous, right? Oh, and I got some ink on here, so I don't know. I'll have to give this one away. What do you think? And then we have this fun one as well. The designer series paper. Buy a package of it. You won't regret it. And then a brand new sneak peek of a brand new stamp set that's going to be available on May the 1st. And that is the one with all the little animals hugging called In My Heart, I think. Is that what it's called? No, Hearts and Hugs. Ta-da! Hearts and Hugs. So let me know which one you like the best. I think they, I think this one, this one is my second favorite. This one I need to fix and do something with. I kind of want to put a roof on it now, so I'm going to play with this one a little bit. Anyway, you guys, I hope you ha get some really, really great deals on things. Um, there's some really amazing deals. So if you need anything, just reach out to me, send me an email. I'm happy to help you. And if you have questions or are interested in my classes, everything um, goes out on a newsletter list. And I have to update, I think my, they call it a DBWS, so my Stampin' Up! website. I have to update classes on there because I've been um, adding so many so quickly. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I've given you a great new card that you can try, a new card design you can try. It's really easy. You just need a pencil and a really good paper trimmer, and you can make one for yourself and your friends. So thank you so much for joining me today, and have a great day.